Marlins, Phillies, game three. Uh, the Marlins and Phillies came into the game or into the game tied in the series at one to one. Uh, and the Marlins definitely going into last night, it didn't look like they had the capability to pull out a win. Uh, I did the calculations myself. If you took the cumulative war this season of the entire Marlins starting lineup last night, added it all together, and then added a war of one, so one win above replacement, after adding everyone together, you would still have a lower total war than Mike Trout has by himself this year. So clearly the Marlins didn't really have the best of the best going in. Uh, an oblique strain or tightness from Garrett Cooper that got him scratched. Uh, and just all the other injuries are kind of compounding. So it felt like things were going to go poorly. And this could be like another slippery slope that the Marlins found themselves in about halfway through the year. And through seven innings, it looked like that was kind of going to happen. Nick Nider did his job, only allowing one run over four innings. Uh, and the bullpen was great. Five innings, no runs allowed. Uh, but through the seventh, the bats were not putting anything together against Aaron Nolan and the rest of the Phillies bullpen. And uh, down two to one, bottom of the eighth, two outs, things looked bleak. Uh, and John Birdie came up to the plate. And the next thing you know, the Marlins were up three to two RBI single by John Birdie. And then eventually a Jose Devers uh, single drove in Birdie. Uh, which meant that the Marlins went up 4-2. Yimmy Garcia saved the day in the bot top of the ninth, and the Marlins won. They are now 24-25, and 25, which is pretty good. Uh, only a game under 500. Uh, they're a game and a half back of the Mets because the Mets didn't play. The Braves lost, so the Marlins are tied for second in the NL East right now. And they are ahead of the Phillies by a half game and ahead of the Nats by a game and a half. So, you know, tonight the, they got Pablo Lopez on the mound, uh, one of the Marlins' obvious best starters. This is a game you got to win to win the series, to go ahead. In other news around baseball, the Dodgers have won 12 of 13 now. Uh, they're the best team in baseball, as we all know, but their only loss over the last 13 games is to the Marlins. So, you know, this Marlins team can win. They've proven it. Uh, they just got to keep doing what they're doing and somehow string together these wins, even when they're not supposed to, uh, because good things will happen.